photos, I was interested at an early age. The only thing my father left at home was like a Rodiflex. That was, and I looked in it when I was 15, 14. I would look into inside, would open it up and see an image, like, you know, perfect reproduction of an image, four by four. So I would play with it all the time and look into it. And maybe that's what kind of like brought me the interest. Sony brought in the Sony Portapack, which was like the reel-to-reel -reel machines. It seems to be very portable. If you give it to me now, I would never even touch it because it's too big. I want to put everything in my pocket if I'm going to make films. For me, it was natural just to uh, use that tool and started to describe the world as I see it. I, I make films, but I don't edit them right away. You know, like I make a whole group of uh, situations that I'm in and stuff like this. If you think of Chelsea Girls, it was shot in 1970, 71. I added a few things, 75 to that, was that was Andy and Larry Rivers, like all that, but basically the, the bulk of it is that, that time. And I never got into it before 1993 or 92 or whatever the date is on the film. It's hard for most people to understand how things happen. And it wasn't easy. It was a lot of hell and everything. It was a drug addict. I, I got involved into different worlds, just maybe for films, by accident. Uh, whether it became like my set, so I became friends with some people. And for some reason, I'm kind of human, I guess, so I became friends and I have children with them. And I just like, at first, it's just to make films. And then real life takes over. I got married with uh, my first actress, Eva. You know, I have a daughter. I always say we got married because we want to make a film about getting married. So like a, like a, like a segment. And we went to uh, Las Vegas and got married there uh, into a chapel where you can go like in a few minutes. We probably just were made to be together happily for a year, make the film and live in the Chelsea Hotel. But that kind of got, you know, and I'm glad I have my daughter and everything, but things happen like that way. Hello. Yes. Who's calling me? One of your lovers. I said one of my lovers that you told me to get. I didn't want to live here. We came here for one night. I'm in America because of you, right? So I can, mm. I can start at the beginning and it's just, this analyze is completely, you go on, you know, forever. And just, okay, it all boils down to the fact of love. Or should I say no love? You know, since I was a multimillionaire when I met her, she had just like, a tiny little place where she was making her photographs. But uh, by 1990, uh, a lot of money came in the, the, the household. And by the end, you know, just before I divorced, there was like tons of money. So there was no like uh, necessary worry uh, about how I'm going to make a living out of my films. Of course, the beauty of my material is that all the missing things that I don't know that are there. And as now, I'm going through it again for the first time in a long time. I, I'm looking on the corner of my eye and I say, the fuck is that? Like, amazing. Uh, I'm not done yet. This part, you know, there's like another world that is coming out of me that I filmed in the past. And I know that I don't need to get out of my own world to reproduce the other world.